This is a Red Wolf TV rapid fire review for the WE Dragon High Campus. <laughs> So the basics, what the frack is a WE Dragon High Kappa? It is a High Kappa. It's WE, so it's cheap. Otherwise, yes, it is a High Kappa. It even takes High Kappa magazines, which are interchangeable with Tokyo Marui High Kappa magazines. The Dragon series has the partial slide and comp going on, which just makes it look cool. A virtually all metal weapon with a metal slide, metal comp, metal upper frame. And it has a plastic lower frame to store the gubbins in, but otherwise it makes this weapon very hefty, with high weight and a good confident balance. The internal mechanism. It is a true single action pistol, so when you pull the trigger, it doesn't actually do anything, you have to cock the hammer. Also, like a 1911, it has a paddle safety, which you actually have to hold down to be able to do anything. It has one further feature, which is the fact that if you cock the hammer back, and pull the trigger, it does release the hammer, but you have to actually cycle the slide to prime the weapon. Now it'll actually shoot. So now we're talking about the sight. The rear iron sight is a Bomar style rear iron sight, which means it's adjustable. Not that you really need to adjust it on a weapon like this, but you can if you need to, so that's nice. On the front, we actually have a fiber optic. This is standard on all four variants. It's attached to the compensator, so while the slide is kicking back and forth, the fiber optic will remain stationary, making it slightly easier to shoot. All dragons have a railed frame, making it easier to attach accessories to your pistol. This is the base model dragon, the Model A. The first variant we'll be looking at is the Model B. It is exactly the same gun with a few minor external details that are different. The grip is waffle pattern instead of the plain pattern that's available on the Model A. The rear of the slide has this slash pattern instead of the plain lines. And the compensator holes are these lines instead of the holes on the Model A. The silver version is simply a silver slide comp and upper frame version of the Model B. It is a Model B in all respects other than its finish, which is silver. Here we have the 7 inch dragon. It is exactly the same as the Model B, except that it includes the exact same frame, but a longer barrel and a larger and longer comp. The 7 inch actually has a full accessory rail. This makes it much easier to attach standard accessories. To access the hop-up, you must first begin by removing the compensator. It is held in place by a single hex screw. Once removed, the compensator can slide right off. Pop out the slide catch to remove the slide. Make sure the magazine is removed from the weapon. The hop-up dial is accessible right here. The standard size dragon clocks in at about 300 FPS, while the 7-inch version of the same gun shoots 350 FPS. So what do these pistols mean? Well, they're WE high cappers, which means they're cheap. They take high capper capacity magazines. They're all metal, they're high kick. They shoot 300 FPS out of the box. The long version shoots 350 out of the box, making these highly durable, skirmish-ready weapons out of the box for a very good price. <laughs> 